गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई डॉक्टर देवेश पांडेल एसिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर सुरेश ज्ञान विहार यूनिवर्सिटी एक्रेटेड बाय नेक ए ग्रेड टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड एल्गोरिथम यू नो व्हेन आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड एल्गोरिथम प्री रिक्वेस्टी आर programming language and uh, now i am sharing my screen i hope uh, you can see my screen during this lecture i will cover so many topics like uh, object and outcome of uh, data structure and algorithm what is data structure why to learn data structure and algorithm application of uh, data structure and algorithm overview of data structure and also i will discuss about characteristics of data structure need for data structure execution time cases and basic terminology of your data structure एड्यूशन टाइम केसेस एंड बेसिक टर्मोलॉजी ऑफ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर and now i will discuss about object of data structure and uh, algorithm objects are to impart the basic concept of data structure and algorithm to understand concept about searching and sorting technique
and also another object of uh, data structure and uh, algorithm to understand basic concept about stack queue list tree and graphs and searching and uh, sorting you know about the stack about the queue about the link list about the search searching these are the all topics of your data structure and uh, algorithm here i will give only overview of your stack overview of your list overview of your tree overview of your queue and uh, in this uh, coming lecture i will discuss about uh, in describe mode of stack and queue you know stack stack uh, is also a data structure where you will insert and delete the item from only one end and when i will discuss about the queue so your queue your queue is also a data structure and your queue is based on your fi fo that is your first in first out if uh, i will take the example of your queue suppose if you are taking the ticket from the ticket window so obviously you will stand in a queue at your first position and if you are the first person uh, which are uh, uh, you stand on in a queue so obviously you will take the first uh, ticket and if we will talk about the stack stack uh, you know is based on your last in first out that is your lifo like your cd box means you you can insert the and delete the item from the cd box from only one end and uh, if we will talk about the searching means you will search the item from the list if we will talk about the sorting sorting is the one of the most concept of your data structure and algorithm sorting means if you are having a array and uh, your all items which are existing in your array which are not in your sequentially fashion so through the sorting technique you will sort the list and uh, another concept another object of your uh, data structure is that to understand about uh, writing the algorithm and step by step approach in solving the problem here i am discussing about the algorithm algorithm is the another object of your data structure through the algorithm through the algorithm you will write the instructions step by step you know when you will write the program the only you will write the only concept in your step wise that is your algorithm there is no any foundation when you will write the algorithm first of all you will write uh, this instruction after that you will write this instruction after that you will write this instruction there is no any foundation in your algorithm just only you will write the instruction so these are the all object of your data structure and algorithm and uh, now i will talk about the outcome of your data structure and algorithm outcome means after study this paper student will able to analyze algorithm and algorithm correctness means after i study this paper student uh, will learn how to write the algorithm and how to uh, algorithm correctness and also student will able to searching technique sorting technique you know searching as per i had told when you will uh, uh, search the item from the list that is your searching and uh, if i will talk about the sorting so there are so many sorting algorithms and through the sorting technique you will sort the items which are already inserted in your array and ability to have knowledge to tree and uh, your graph uh, 
So these are the all outcomes of your data structure and algorithm. You know, when you will study data structure and algorithm paper, so before study the this paper, you should know about the concept. You should know familiar with your C and C++ concept. Okay, there are so many concept will use in your uh, uh, data structure of uh, C language, like your variables, uh, like your uh, when you will uh, implement the algorithm in your program. So you should know about the all loop. You should know about the struct. You, you should know about the pointer. These are the all prerequisites when you will learn about the data structure. Here I am giving only overview of uh, some concept of your C language, like your variable. You know, variable, variable means which store the data. This is your variable. Okay. How to declare the variable? So when you want to declare the variable, just you will write the data type and your variable name. Suppose you want to write the one statement int a. So a, a is your variable name and int in your data type of your integer. Okay. Suppose you want to take the more than one variable of your same type. So you will write the int a comma b comma c. If you will not use the comma between the more than one variables, so your all variables will count as a your one variable. That's why when you want to declare the more than one variable, you will use the comma. You will separate the all variables with uh, from the comma. And uh, uh, data type is also be used when you will write the when you will implement the algorithm in your any programming language like your integer, character, float, etc., etc. And uh, also array array will be used when you will implement the algorithm in your any other programming language. Here I am giving the overview of your array, you know, array, array, where you will st store the similar items, where you will store the same type of elements. This is your array. Like, suppose you want to take the marks of your 100 students. So here your marks are uh, same, like your integer of your student. So you will store the 100 marks in your array. Okay. So when you will implement the array in your C language, so first of all, you will read the 100 marks from your user side. Okay. And uh, when you will implement the algorithm in any other programming language, you will use the loop like your for loop, like your do while loop, like your while loop and uh, your uh, for loop, uh, you know, when you will define the in your for loop data type uh, conditions and your increment and your decrement. And in the same manner, you will use the while loop when you will define the condition. And also you will use the do while loop when you will implement the algorithm in uh, uh, any programming language. Okay. And you know, your array, you will also use the one dimensional array and uh, two dimensional array when you will implement the algorithm in programming language. One dimensional array who have only one dimension. That is your one dimension and your two dimensional array where you will take the two dimension. Your first dimension is for row and uh, second dimension is for column. Like your when you want to input the matrix. Okay. So at that time you will take the two dimensional. Your uh, first dimension is for uh, uh, row and second dimension is for column okay and also you will use the structure 
also you will uh, use the pointer when you will implement the algorithm in any other programming language if we will talk about the structure structures means when you will take the different different items when you will take the different different types of elements is called the structure you know struct struct is the keyword of your uh, structure like suppose you want to take the record of your book you know book contain many information like your how many number of your pages book author book cost okay so that time you will uh, use the integer data type for uh, how many number of pages in your book also you will take the float for uh, uh, uh for price of your book and also you will use the character for the name of your author so means you will use the structure you will use the struct when you will implement the algorithm in any other programming language and also you will use the pointer pointer you know pointer is the address of your variable okay so these are the all programming concept to will use in your data structure when you will implement the algorithm in your any other programming language and now i will discuss about what is data structure what is data structure data structure means combination of your data and struct means data structure are the programming way for uh, storing so that can be used efficiently when means you will store the data you will extract the data almost every enterprise application use various type of data structure in one or other way like uh, some enterprise will use the hierarchical database some enterprise will use the network database some enterprise will use the document database some uh, enterprise will use the entity relationship database means uh, enterprise will use the different different types of your database okay like uh, your hierarchical database where your data uh, will be stored in uh, your uh, tree structure format and if we will use the network database so your data will be stored and if we will talk about the document database so your data will be stored in your uh, uh, document pay if we will if uh, you will uh, use the hierarchical uh, network database so your data will be stored in your notes format and uh, and now why to learn data structure and algorithm means why i am reading about the data structure and algorithm what are the benefits of your data structure and algorithm paper if uh, i will not learn if uh, i want to not learn the about the data structure and algorithm the what will happen that's why i am uh, telling about the why to learn data structure and algorithm so there are some common problems that application face nowadays first is your data search data search when you want to search the any data when you want to search the any item from the giving list so how is possible this is possible from the data structure in algorithm paper 
which is possible for the searching algorithm and you know your searching algorithm is the part of your data structure and algorithm suppose if you will consider the inventory of 1 million items of uh, store and uh, if the application to search the any item it has to search an item in uh, 1 million items every time showing down the search obviously suppose you are having a data of your 1 lakh employee suppose you are having a data of uh, 10 crores citizens and you want to search the particular citizen you want to search the data of a particular citizen so how is possible if you will search the manually so obviously your uh, uh, searching is a down That's why your data structure and algorithm is important. And uh, next is your processor speed. Processor speed, although being very high, falls limited if the data grow to billion records. Means suppose if you are having a billion records. So that time your processor speed, although being very high and uh, your processor speed falls limited if the data grow of billion records and multiple requests as thousand of user can search the data simultaneously of a web server so even the fast server fails while searching the data so that's why you will learn the data structure and algorithm and also to solve the problems data structure come to rescue data can you you know data can be stored in your uh, uh, data can data can be organized in your data structure in such a way that all items may not be required to be searched and the required data can be searched almost instantly and after that I will discuss about the what are the applications of your data structure and algorithm you know so there are so many applications of your data structure and algorithm like your you know algorithm is a step by step procedure when you will write the algorithm of any problem so just you will write the only step by step instruction just you will write the only step by step procedure which define a set of instruction to be executed in a certain order to get the desired output algorithm you know uh, algorithm your algorithm is just a step by step instructions and uh, just you will write the all steps step by step for achieve a goal for achieve a target algorithms are generally created independent of underlying language 
that is your algorithm can be implemented in more than one programming language as per i had told you can implement the algorithm in any programming language there is no any foundation you will just uh, implement uh, this al algorithm only in this language there is no any foundation you can implement the algorithm in c language in c++ language in java language in php language in asp language in c sharp language etc means you can implement the algorithm in any other language there is no any foundation ki you will just implement only in this language and uh, other searching algorithm to search a item in your data structure searching means suppose if you are having a array and you want to search the particular item you want to search the particular element in your given array that is your searching you know searching are two types in your data structure and algorithm here i will uh, not discuss in briefly only i will give the only types of your searching like your uh, linear search and second is your binary search algorithm okay and your sort sort when you will write the algorithm for sort the items for sort the items means suppose if you are having a array and uh, those items are already inserted in your array in your uh, uh, unsorted fashion so through the sorting technique just you will sort the all items in your array okay you know there are so many sorting algorithms uh, in uh, data structure and uh, algorithm like your insertion sort selection sort merge sort quick sort uh, redex sort there are so many algorithms and uh, through any algorithm you can arrange the all items which are already in your array in your sorting fashion through the sorting technique okay insert insert when you will insert the item in your data structure like stack so when you will insert the item in your stack okay update algorithm to update the existing item in your data structure and delete algorithm to delete an existing item from a data structure you will write the algorithm for searching sorting insertion updation and your deletion and the through the data structure you will solve the following problems like your fevnook number series next pack problem tower of hanoi prahani problem all pair sortest path sortest path by dishtra and project scheduling and now i am discussing about the overview of your data structure you know data structure is a systematic way to organize the data in order to use it efficiently and uh, following items are the foundation terms of your data structure like your interface like your implementation if you are if we will talk about the interface e data structure has an interface interface represent the set of operation then a data structure support interface only provide the list of supported operations type of parameters they can accept and return type of this operation and the implementation implementation provide the internal representation of your data structure also implementation also provide the definition of your algorithm used to in the operation of the data structure and uh, now i will discuss about the characteristics of your data structures means also you can say that features of your data structure first is your correctness you know correctness data structure implementation should implement uh, in uh, interface correctly and uh, second uh, is your uh, characteristic is that time complexity running time or the execution time of operation of your data structure must be as small as possible 
and the space complexity memory uses of a data structure operation should be little as possible and uh, need for the data structure as per i had already told uh, uh, for the data search for the processor speed and for the multiple request i had already discussed about the data search processor speed and your multiple request and uh, if we will talk about the local environment setup for data structure if you are still willing to set up your environment for c programming language you need to following two tools available on your computer like your text editor and your c compiler text editor means where you will write the program for any algorithm when you will implement the algorithm in any other programming language so you will write the code in your text editor and also you will use the c compiler okay your c language have a compiler your compiler me compiler means your program will be compiled through the compiler your program written in your low level language either your high level language will convert into your machine language because your computer will know only the machine language if you will write the any instructions uh, in uh, other language the computer will not understand because computer will learn uh, computer will know about the only machine language means if you will write the instructions only zero and one format the computer can understand but if you will write the instruction in your programming language like your c c++ in any other language computer can't understand because computer will know only machine language and through the compiler through the your source code will convert into your machine language and your uh, after converted the machine language your uh, uh, through the compiler your computer will understand only that's why c compiler is needed so means when you will uh, write the program so you ne uh, need to uh, two tools like uh, first is your uh, text editor and uh, second is your c compiler and if we will talk about the text editor you know the text editor will use to type your program means i had told when you will write the source code when you will type the program and uh, the, there are so many editor editors include the window notepad os edit command etc and the name and the version of your text editor can vary on different operating system for example notepad will be used on window and vim editor or you can also say that vi editor can be used in your window as well as your linux and your unix the file you create in your editor called the source file and content program is the source code the source file for c programs are named with the extension .c you know when you will write the program to so your program will save your uh, c program will save with the extension .c and uh, i had already discussed about the c compiler you know source code uh, written uh, in the source file in the human readable source for your program is needs to be compiled to turn into your machine language as per i had told the computer can understand only the machine language so that your cpu can actually execute the program and the programming language compiler will be used to compile your source code into your executable program and uh, installation on your unix uh, and linux if you are using linux or unix then you will check the gcc compiler is installed or not okay 
if you will write the program in your unix uh, or linux platform so you will you should check your gcc compiler is installed or you are not and uh, now i will discuss about the installation on window means how to install on window means how you to install the window and now i will discuss about about how to install the uh, window in on your linux you know i had told about that ki if uh, you will if uh, you will use the if you will write the program on your unix and linux mode so before write the program on your unix and linux mode you should check your gcc compiler is your installed and your not and now installation on window the install gcc on your window you need to install min gw and to install min gw go to the min gw home page i am not uh, describing here while installing the min uh, wg as add or minimum you must install gcc core gcc g++ etc and after that after discussed this lecture student uh, will able to how to write the algorithm what why we will learn the data structure and uh, here i am giving some questions which are related from your uh, this lecture like your which of these best describe in your array you know the data structure that show a hierarchical behavior and container of object of your similar types array are immutable once in uh, is installed and array is not a data structure okay the container of of object of a similar types you know your array is your array is the collection of your similar type elements and uh, how do we initialize an array in your c i have uh, given the four options your three size 1 2 3 in your bracket your three size 1 2 3 in your middle bracket and your three size in your another bracket so obviously your answer will be your c where you will write the int array and you will take the size as your three and your three elements are 1 2 3 how do we in this extensive in array in your java okay so you know when you will use the java you will write the int array your size new int the array size is your 3 you can see in this uh, given slide and uh, which of the following is the correct way to declare an multi dimensional array in your java you know your first option is your int size array and you will take the int array in and you will size the bracket and your int you will uh, uh, take the two brackets for your one for row and time for column and uh, next is your you will write the int array size and your array you, you know your question is the which of the following is a correct way to declare in a multi dimensional array in java means how to declare the multi dimensional in your java if i will talk about the java so how you will uh, use the array in your multi dimensional multi dimensional array in your java so 
multidimensional means suppose you want to use the two dimensional so your one dimensional should for your row and one dimensional should for your column so your answer should be your int your first bracket is for uh, row and your second bracket is for column that is that is the right way that is the correct uh, way to declare the multi dimensional array in your java and here i am uh, i had taken a question in which a student uh, will tell about the output of your java code your java code is the or public class array you can see in this slide public static void main string argument and uh, your size is your 1 2 3 4 5 you had taken the five size of your array and just uh, you will uh, print the message just uh, you will print the second uh, second items of your array and fourth items of your array okay and your answer is that your 3 and 5 5 and 3 2 and 4 and your 4 and 2 okay so obviously your answer will be your 3 and your 5 because first of all you have to print it the second and next you have to print it the fourth and after that what does the array index out of bounds exception occur your compile time run time not an error and not an exception at all obviously in your run time that's why your answer is that your b and which of the following concept make extensive use of your array binary tree scheduling of your process and your caching and your spital locality you know concept make extensive use of array so spital locality is the concept of your make extensive use of your array and uh, what are the advantage of your array if you are using the array so what are the advantage of your array options are objects of mixed data types can be stored elements in an array cannot be stored index of first element of an array is your one and is yet to store element of same data type i had also also told uh, in this lecture ki if you your array your array is the collection of your similar data items your array is not a mixed data type you can store array is not uh, in your array you can store the elements elements and not in elements cannot be stored in your array and index of your first element of an array is one that is not possible and your fourth option is that is it to store elements on some data that is your right option you know in your array you will store the same data items same data type items and what are the disadvantage of your array before that i had talked about the advantage of your array and here i am talking about the disadvantage of your array data structure like uh, queue and stack cannot be implemented there are chance of wastage of memory space if element inserted in your array are lesser than the allocated size and the index value of an array can be negative and the elements are sequentially accessed so your you know data structure like queue or stack cannot be implemented in okay so that is not the right answer there are chances of wastage of memory space if element inserted in your array are lesser than the allocated size this is your right answer because if you are if you have to take an array of your five size means you can insert the five items in your array but if you will if you will you will store the only three items on your array okay means you will store the items lesser than the allocated size okay the this is your disadvantage of your array and the index value of an array can be negative 
that is not a right answer elements are sequentially exchanged that is not a right answer elements in two of four bytes what is the size of your int array 15 okay you know your uh, your options are 15 19 11 and your 16 you know your uh, here i am talking about the four bytes as per given in your question assuming int is of your four byte here i am uh, assuming your integer will take the four byte and uh, i am asking about the array 15 size so obviously your 15 multiply 4 that is your uh, 60 so means uh, your size of int is your 60 that is your answer is your d and uh, the index of the first element in an array if you are taking the array so from where you will start so you know if you are taking the array so your element your indexing will always start from a zero means suppose if you are uh, taken the size is your 4 suppose if you are uh, indexing 5 etc etc and always one thing your indexing in your array will always start from the zero i hope you have understand about this lecture